set this up and Hey guys, sorry for the really, really weird angle, but this is going to have to do because I've lost my tripod. But, I've got an unboxing, so let's get into it. So, I'm pretty sure this unboxing, I'm pretty sure this is what I've ordered from my sponsor, Cubes from PC. I'm going to have a little bit about them later on in the video, but I ordered, oh, I got a couple of cubes sent plus a t-shirt from them. Uh, one. So in here should be a new 6x6, because my current 6x6, I don't actually know where that is, but is a um, MF6, and I've lost one of the internal parts for it. Let's just put the knife away quickly. There we go. All right. So in here we've got t-shirt I'll look at that later I got yes in its glory the shadow M and my new 2x2 probably my new 2x2 main the cubicle labs Waco M all right let's get rid of the box all right um, quickly have a look at this t-shirt excellent so there's the front Cubes from PC, Puzzle Cuba. It's the person who owns the company. And on the back, we got Cubes from PC again. This is pretty cool. This is definitely, this is what my second cubing t-shirt. My first one was one of the cubic ones. So really cool for them to send me out that, considering they're sponsoring me at the moment. More news on that later. So this is one of the cubes he had just for sale, um, not through his store, or sorry, not through their store or anything like that, but um, I've always liked the Moe cubes, and my current main is a Cubicle Labs MF2M. So this feels a lot better. The plastic just feels a lot smoother. The um, MF2M, um, here it is here. Not sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but see the MF2M has that frosted feeling, which is meant to give it more grip, but it does the complete opposite. Um, you know what? It actually doesn't feel too different. Like I set this one up pretty well, like apart from the plastic feeling on top, like obviously this one's more of a gloss, this is frosted. They're both actually really, really good cubes. And I really do like the MF2M from Cubicle Labs and I'll probably keep it definitely as a backup main. But uh, this feels, uh, I think this is gonna feel a lot better after doing a lot of solves. Cause I remember after doing bulk solves on this, like an average of 50, your fingers would just kill. Um, especially when I first set it up because I put a lot of lube in it and it just gummed it up and it was so difficult to solve with. Like you'd cramp after like the third solve. So this one definitely feels a lot lighter, a lot more crispier as well. I'm just going through couple of turns and how's corner cutting uh, about the same reverse yep yep just just where if it goes over it's not gonna but if it's still on where it's still curved it will corner cut just as well and that's pretty much the same with the um, MF2M the MF2M definitely feels a lot more crunchier like and then turns like more I guess it would be more clackier so anyway that's not the main attraction here. The main attraction is, of course, the Shadow M. I'm super keen for this. Um, this is gonna be the second last cube that I need. So I haven't got a 7x7 yet, but I will be ordering the A7 when it comes out. Put the packaging off to the side. Uh, it does come with a pamphlet if you really, really wanted to know. Let's see what there. Let's just open this up a bit. A lot of lot of instructions for those who want to know how to solve the 6x6 and 7x7. It's pretty cool how they have both in there. One, I'm not going to be bothering following that up. Plastic. All right, let's get into this. Now, I've been told this is very, very similar to the Wu Shuang by Chi. Put 
that down there. And I've got to say, just out of the box, it definitely does look like one. I've got my one uh, here. So there's the Wu Shuang, and there is the X Men Design Shadow M. I've got to say, the shades are, I think they're exactly the same. Yep, they, they are exactly the same. So obviously I've set this up and, so obviously I've set this up. So this is actually turning what I like very well, but I'm very keen out of the box to see what this feels like. Yeah, this is definitely gonna need some setup, but this is already so much more promising than the MF6, that is my current main. Oop. It's got, it's got that sandy sort of swishy feeling that a lot of chi cubes have. Let's do just a parry here. This, wow, this is actually really good. This is, um, this is very impressive. I'm definitely gonna have to set it up a bit. It feels a bit loose for my sort of liking, but so as you can see, I'm not the greatest six by six solver. But um, hopefully, with this, it gives me a bit more of a, a bit more of a wanting to. It's pretty cool about the internals. So I'm not sure if you've seen pictures of the Shadow M, and if you haven't, then did I just move the camera? Sure, Dilly did. Let's just move that back. So what they've done is a lot of the so the edges and the corners whoop, are full plastic, but when you come into the more of the internal sort of bits. I'm not sure if you can sort of see the that um, clear plastic color. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold up. Um, let me fix this and we'll be back. All right, let's fix this. All right, we're back, fixed, just. Uh, this, this is really nice. This is, um, wow. So I'm gonna have to do a review on this. This is just more of a first turns and an unboxing. So that's really cool. Super excited about that. Where's this gone? This is definitely gonna be my new main, the um, Wapo M. I'll be doing a full review of all of my mains um, coming up in probably in the next video-ish, probably. I'm also going to finally get my review, sorry, not my review, my giveaway video up, um, hopefully later this week. Um, that's gonna be a giveaway through Gleam, so make sure you check that out and stay tuned for that. See you later, guys.